Welcome distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. On behalf of Command Sergeant Major David Lee Jr., Director, the Sergeant's Major Academy, welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Sergeant's Major course, Distance Learning. Ladies and gentlemen, the invocation will be given by our chaplain, followed by the playing of the national anthem. I invite you to pray or meditate in your tradition as I do in mine. Lord God, I thank you for this special occasion when we get to congratulate our NCOs on their graduation from the Distance Education Sergeant's Major course. Their hard work in pursuit of excellence has helped make them the great leaders they are today. I ask your continued blessings on them and on their careers as they help shape this army into the best fighting force in the world. I ask this in your holy name. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still who say does that star-spangled banner yet away For the land of the free and the home of the brave Good morning. On behalf of the Commandant of the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence, Command Sergeant Major Jason Smith, welcome to today's virtual graduation. My name is Command Sergeant Major Todd Shirley, Deputy Commandant of the Center of Excellence. I'm honored to be here today to provide you some opening remarks about this day. To be a graduate of the Sergeant's Major course is a once-in-a-lifetime achievement that most will not attain. To be clear, only 1% of the soldiers who enlist in the Army will ever make it this far. That says a lot about you as a person, a soldier, a professional, and a leader. Congratulations, you made it. As a graduate of non-resident Sergeant Majors Corps Class 36, I know what you went through to complete this milestone. You went to work each day, doing the job that you were trained for whether it was for the Army, like myself, or your civilian job, like many of you in the Guard and Reserve. Then you would come home to your studies, spending long hours in the night reading, writing papers, doing research, practical exercises, taking tests, all while sacrificing quality time with your family and your friends. Your road to success was much longer than our resident students but you have accomplished the same goals, learned the same things, got the, t the same 1059. You are now part of the alumni who can proudly say, I'm a graduate of the Sergeant's Major Academy, a member of Class 46. As we all know, things change with time. We as an Army and an educational institution must adapt the way we educate senior NCOs to keep up with the changing doctrine, regulations, lessons learned, and new, new technologies. Not to mention the changing paradigms in social economics and global nation states, both friends and foe. I can tell you, the course that you've completed is much different from the one I took 10 years ago. The rigor is far greater than what I experienced, and the course requirements today are on par with the resident course, not two years behind like it used to be. 
This is a college level course that rivals most universities of today. The Sergeant's Major course provides you the tools to develop your critical reasoning, critical thinking, and decision making skills. It takes you from a tactical level of thinking to an operational strategic perspective in order to prepare you for leadership positions in organizations executing unified land operations. It also prepares you for leadership positions and joint assignments, as well as battalion, brigade, and division through echelons above core, staff sergeant major, and command levels. Be proud of your accomplishment. Take what you learn and be the leader you would want to be led by. Live the Army values and lead by example. Ultima, Army Strong. The Sergeant's Major Course Distance Learning is a 24-month program of instruction designed to prepare senior non-commissioned officers for assignments in positions throughout the Department of Defense. These students have successfully completed their final requirements of the Sergeant's Major Course. On 17 May 1972, General William Westmoreland, the Army Chief of Staff, approved the creation of a senior level course for the non-commissioned officer education system. General Ralph E. Haynes, Jr., the commander of the Continental Army Command, also favored its creation and issued General Order 98, officially creating the Academy effective 1 July 1972. The first class started six months later in January 1973. When the Sergeant's Major Academy began operations, it already planned to offer a distance learning version of the Sergeant's Major course for National Guard and Army Reserve non-commissioned officers. The first distance learning class began with 55 students in July 1974 and graduated two years later in July 1976. Less than half of those who started graduated, with only 22 students completing the course. Today, each class has hundreds of students and a graduation rate of 75% and commonly includes regular Army non-commissioned officers. Three Air Guardsmen have also graduated the program since its inception. Through most of its history, the course has been called the Sergeant's Major Distance Learning Course, but for a period in the 1990s, it was officially known as the Corresponding Studies Sergeant's Major Course. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker. Sergeant Major Trotter from United States Army Civil Affairs and Psychological Operation Command. I would like to congratulate you on completing this milestone. You are 1% of the Army soldiers that made it to this level. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be your guest speaker today. I have been in your seat before and know the sacrifice it took to get here. All of your hard work have paid off. With all the mentoring, training, accountability, wisdom, knowledge, experience you have received since you have been in this man's army, now it is time to invest, invent, and innovate your leadership style. It is time to take the next step in your career. It was there in the seat you are in right now got me thinking and asking myself what type of leadership style I was going to use. I had to look at my skill set because I wanted to know what I could do to become an effective leader. Should I use the hammer, coaching, server, or pace setter approach? Or should I just be leader behind the scene? When I started my journey, I didn't know which approach would best fit me. What I did know, I wanted to be the best leader for my soldiers. I wanted to focus on three areas. Number one, putting the soldier's need first, making them a priority. Number two, having an open door policy, creating an atmosphere where soldiers can freely express their concerns and find solutions. Possess the knowledge to assist soldiers in navigating their career and keep them invested in the process. The goal is for them to become great soldiers and the best versions of themselves. Then I asked myself, how do I become the leader? One who has genuine concern 
and always available. A leader who truly impact life. How do I accomplish that leadership style? I started thinking and I broke down the word leadership. Each letter as it pertained to my focus area and what I wanted my leadership style to be. L, listen. I wanted to become an effective listener, focusing on soldiers and their message. I had a habit of letting my mind wander while others were speaking, but you can't lead when you are not listening. E, education. Continue my education after leaving this class. That included military and civilian, so I could help soldiers and enhance my chance of becoming a division CSN. A, adapt to different leadership styles. As a battalion sergeant major, I had four commanders in one year, and their philosophies were not the same. It took some adjustment. D, devote the time to the job and my family. Balancing my lifestyle was important. E, engage. Be engaged in the right things. Everything don't need my attention. R, ready. Prepare my soldier to be ready for any mission coming our way. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Quote by RG3. S. Share. Ensure knowledge was shared up and down the chain because the private is always the last to know. H. Help. Be willing to ask and accept help and not be the doer of all things. Remember the old saying, I would rather do it myself than train someone else to do it for me. I had to get away from that mindset. I influence. Be able to influence my peers. It is easy to tell someone what to do, but can you influ influence them to do it? And P, protect soldiers and information that was entrusted to me. As I grew as a leader, my leadership style changed over time. It went from hammer to coaching. I learned a few things along the way, and it wasn't easy. It took hard work and dedication. This simple list helped me become an effective leader and get positive results. It helped me move the organization forward, build trust, and better serve soldiers. Hopefully, the experience from my list will assist you in forming your own list and becoming effective leaders. If I can leave you with anything today, I've learned self-awareness is critical in leadership roles. You must understand self before taking responsibilities of others. In closing, I want to congratulate each of you again on a job well done. I hope everyone have a great career, continue to lead our soldiers and protect this country. Remember, the NCOs are the backbone of the Army, but family is the backbone of the NCO. May God continue to bless you and your family. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your inspirational words of encouragement to the graduating class. During the course of study, each student was evaluated on his or her ability, aptitude, performance, and potential for assignment to positions of greater responsibility within the Department of Defense. The following senior non-commissioned officers, having successfully completed all requirements set forth by the Sergeant's Major Academy, are now considered graduates of the Sergeant's Major course, Distance Learning. At this time, we will have the playing of the Army song. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our graduation ceremony. Congratulations to these graduates of the Sergeant's Major Course, Distance Learning.